Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. And welcome to Advanced Class 48. Yeah, getting up there, moving right along. And we're going to start with a little review and the, the phrasal verb to stick up for someone. Voy a dar la cara por ellos. I'm going to stick up for them. Dar la cara. To stick up for someone. I think it's important to stick up for your family members. Right? To support them. To bravely support them. Right? To help them. Would you stick up for me if I had an argument? Would you? Would you stick up for me? Yes, Kyle, of course. I would stick up for you. I hope so. It would be nice if you would stick up for me. I always try to stick up for my family members. I stick up for my brother, and he sticks up for me. He does. Mm -hmm. Do you and your friends stick up for each other? Do you? Do you stick up for each other? Oh, good. It's, it's good. It's good to stick up for each other. It's good to stick up for your friends. When I was young, my friends stuck up for me a lot. They, it helped me when they stuck up for me. Stick, stuck. Okay? They stuck up for me, and I stuck up for them. It's inseparable. We don't say stuck them up. No, no, no. I stick up for you. You stick up for me. We stick up for each other. Yesterday, I stuck up for you, and you stuck up for me, and we stuck up for each other. Okay? Now, we can move on to a little bit of translation. All right. Translation. Yes, translation. It is that time. Now, with tr we're in translation list two. So you can follow along in your Vaughan Inglés 4.0 translation book. It's called the Gimnasia Gramatical. Tu libro de traducción inversa. All right, and they're great. These books are really, really nice. I'm going to start off here. We'll go through them all. It's a review. We practiced this yesterday, so you should have no problem with this, right? This is a review. Number one, ya ha habido tres en los dos últimos años. There have already been three in the last two years, right? There have already been three in the last two years. Great. Number two. No pueden decidirse. They can't either decide. Yesterday, you may recall, I had Susana, special guest Susana, on the show, and she said they can't decide. But also, we have a, the, a special way of saying this. They can't make up their minds. They can't make up their minds. Hmm. Number three. Te acostumbrarás a nuestro ritmo. You'll get used to our pace. You'll get used to our pace. Very good. Number four. Tenían que haber llegado hace diez días. They should have got here ten days ago. They should have got here or gotten here ten days ago. Why aren't they here? They should have gotten here ten days ago. Okay, good. Number five, él siempre convoca reuniones en el último momento. He always calls last-minute meetings. Now, we say último momento. We say in English last minute. We don't say last moment. We say last minute. Último minuto. But we say it that way, last minute. Now, meetings, he always calls meetings at the last minute, you could say. Or he always calls Last-minute meetings. What kind of meetings? Last-minute meetings. He always calls last-minute meetings. He always calls last-minute meetings. Oh, my boss. He always calls last-minute meetings. I'm trying to go home, and he says, Oh, I forgot to tell you there's a meeting, a last-minute meeting. He always calls last-minute meetings. All right, number six. ¿Cómo van las cosas? 
How are things going? How are things going? ¿Cómo van las cosas? How are things going? Very good. Number seven. No nos podemos quejar. We can't complain. We can't complain. And number eight. ¿Queda algo por hacer? Is there anything left to do? Is there anything left to do? We're looking for something to do. Is there anything left to do? Great. Number nine. Prefería estar en la playa. ¿Tú no? I'd rather be at the beach. Wouldn't you? I'd rather be. I'd rather be. I'd rather plus infinitive. Without the two. I would rather to nunca. Nunca se dice. I would rather be. In this case, I would rather be at the beach. Wouldn't you? Yes. I'd rather be at the beach. Wouldn't you? Okay. I would rather. I'd rather. I'd rather. I'd rather. I'd rather. I'd rather be. I'd rather be. I'd rather be. I'd rather be at the beach. Wouldn't you? Only told you half the story. Right. Very good. Okay. Expression of the day. Yes, folks, it is time. It is that time. That's right, for the expression of the day. The expression of the day today is behind bars. To be behind bars. You're in jail. In la cárcel. You're in jail. You're in prison. In prison. You are behind bars because there are bars, typically vertical bars, in the prison that keep you in. You are be- Where are you? Are you in front of them? No, you're behind them. You're behind bars. So we can say someone was put behind bars. He was convicted of murder and put behind bars. He was locked up. He was sent to jail. He was sent to prison, okay? Prison is the term that we can use for uh, for a long, long-term long stay. A murderer goes to prison and they have to serve a sentence in prison. They stay in prison. We can casually call that jail as well. Say, oh, he's in jail. But jail can be for, say, one night if someone is drunk and the police take them and throw them in jail and they say, oh, okay, you're going to spend the night in jail. And then the next morning they get out. Maybe it's a holding cell, a jail. But uh, a prison is not just for one night. Prison is for an extended stay for serious criminals that get locked up and they are put behind bars. They, they're sent to jail behind bars. Okay. Very good. All right, now I'd like to talk about another topic. I have another topic I would like to talk about. Another, another. Okay, so I want to talk about other versus another. Now we're going to focus on another because so many of my students say, this is difficult. I I don't understand this. Another. Kyle, please explain. Help me with another. So I think I've given you an explanation before, but now I will give you another explanation. I will give you another explanation. Next week, if you need another explanation, I can give you another explanation, but hopefully you will understand after this explanation, and I won't have to give you another one, okay? Another one is essentially other, but with the with the article an, the indefinite article built into the word, okay? For example, my brother doesn't want this car. He wants another one. It's like an other car. It's it's not speci- not the other car. The uh, if if there are two and you say I don't like the black one, I want the other one because there are two. I want the other one. There's a white one and a black one. I've tried the black one and I don't like it. I want the other one. I want the white one. There's a blue one and a green one. The blue one is broken. Give me the other one. Give me the green one. Okay, so here we have two options. We're, we're saying the, there's this one and there's the other one, the other one. But an other one is like cualquier otra, another one. I don't care which one, just give me another one. Okay, 
So we can practice this. It's not as difficult as you think. It's not very tough. But we can practice this by, I will give you some clues. For example, my brother doesn't want this car. He doesn't want this car. He wants another car. Okay, and you will say that out loud. En voz alta. She doesn't have that version. So at home, she doesn't have that version. She has another version. Another, another version, another version. We don't have this problem. We don't have this problem. We have another problem. We have a problem, but it's not this problem. It's another problem. He doesn't want that book. En voz alta. He doesn't want that book. He wants another book. Very good. They aren't watching that movie. They aren't watching that movie. They're watching another movie. No problem. I don't like that flavor. Vanilla? Oof, I don't like that flavor. I want another flavor. Yes. I don't like vanilla. I want another flavor. I, I don't care. Chocolate, strawberry, raspberry, whatever. Just not vanilla. I don't like it. Give me another flavor. Okay, now if we go, I go into the store and we have two flavors, chocolate and vanilla, and there's and you give me vanilla, I say, hey, I don't like that flavor. Give me the other flavor. Whatever it is, give it to me. Give me the other flavor. Oh, chocolate. Yes, give me the other one because I know there are two. If there are several flavors, I would say, give me another one. Okay? We don't work in that office. We don't work in that office. We work in another office. My brother doesn't want that CD. No, he doesn't want that CD. He wants another CD. I don't like that album. I don't like that album. I want another album. Or in this case, I could say, I like another album. Mm. She didn't tell us that story. She told us a story, but she didn't tell us that story. She told us another story. We didn't ask for that dish. Now, did we ask for a dish? Yes, we did, but we didn't ask for that dish. We asked for another dish. Another dish. Otro plato. In a restaurant, right? A dish A dish can be, just like plato, it can be the physical thing that you serve the food on, a plate, a dish. But then we can use dish as a un plato de un restaurante, another dish. They didn't look for this solution. No, they looked for another solution. They weren't hoping for this result. No, they were hoping for another result. She wasn't looking for that guy. She was looking for another guy. Yeah, she was looking for another guy. Very good. All right. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time. It is time now for the vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day today. Convertirse en. Convertirse en. That's right. To turn into. To turn into. Turn into. Yes, I'm ho I hope you're turning into a good speaker. Peter Parker could turn into Spider-Man. Clark Kent could turn into Superman. Yeah. Minar. The verb to undermine. To undermine. Minar. Avance. Advancement. Very good. Advancement. Cacahuetes. Peanuts. Peanuts. Yes, I like peanuts. Poner en peligro. Ooh, to jeopardize. Yes, that's right. To jeopardize with the J. J, 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 jeopardize. With me? To jeopardize. I hope it doesn't jeopardize your health. I hope it doesn't jeopardize your job. Jeopardize. Jeopard. Jeopardize. So we had convertirse en to turn into. Minar, to undermine. Avance, advancement. Cacahuetes, peanuts. Poner en peligro, to jeopardize. 
All right, very good. Now, we've talked about another, and I would like to talk about, well, another topic, which is simply other. So I mentioned this already. Uh, it, it, give me another well, give me another answer. Just something different. Now give me the other pen. There are two pens. One is black and one is blue. Well, the blue one doesn't work. Give me the other one. So here we can, we can practice with a drill. Not all people own a house. So you could say true. Some people own a house and other people don't. Not all people here speak English. That's true. Some people speak English, and other people don't. Some people speak English, and other people don't. Not all people here like tortilla. Some people like tortilla, and other people don't. Not all people here drive European cars. Some people drive European cars, and other people don't. Not all cities have factories. Some cities have factories, and other cities don't. Not all cars run on gasoline. Some cars run on gasoline, and other cars don't. They operate using the fuel of gasoline. They run on. They run on gasoline. Some cars run on gasoline, and, some, and, and others run on diesel. And some run on electrical, well, a battery charge or hydrogen, I suppose, in some modern, well, prototype cars at this point. Not all people drive to work. Some people drive to work and others take the bus. And others walk, you could say. Not all cities have good football teams. Some cities have good football teams and others don't. Not all accents are easy to understand. Some accents are easy to understand and others aren't. All right? Good. We are completely out of time. I'm going to finish there because we have to finish the show. But thank you so much for listening. We'll be back tomorrow and we'll start with a review tomorrow of what we've seen other and another. We will review this. There will be another show tomorrow. Don't worry. We will, re we will review it and we will look at other things as well. Okay? So... We will do that tomorrow, but thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>